Hello and welcome to another set of turns of Dominions 5, playing the False Pretenders. Joining me is Arpatheus. Hello, I'm here. Jumping in on turn 84, and last turn we saw just peak Hinnom, like the peak uh, ideal Hinnom army, although it's still missing Grigori. Gotta... I think what we really saw was the peak Harab Saraf experience. Oh my god. Certainly at this point, the average Harab Saraf experience. They're just uh, they're just not cut out for the late game. I think that's all it is. All yeah. the skeletons, all the skeletons, great spell, but not for a big fight yeah, in it, the late game. It doesn't work forever. You need more. You need you need higher quality. He needs higher quality chaff. He needs more magic. He needs demonic cleansing. He needed demonic cleansing like a while ago. I think it it would still be an all right spell if if the skeletons that they made got affected by all your battlefields. Like like uh, like misform and and like fog warriors and all and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Army of God. If they got all those buffs, but they come out like naked with buffs, and I, they just can't. Yeah, yeah. Can't do anything. All right. Message from Hinnom. Well, I think Caleb is in trouble after losing this many mages. Uh, I think he is, but he has a ton of mages left. Um, yeah. Sure in he's... fairness, he's losing Harob Seraphs, but that you know they can't really do much now anyway. It's the Eagle Kings. That he's been losing quite a lot of that yeah. really but we also aren't seeing a ton of replacement mages like what is he going to be bringing instead yeah i mean i think the air mages are better but i don't think that they're not doing anything against those here either with the 15 shock res yeah so i mean caleb as as i think i have stated for a very long time in this game i do not believe that caleb scales very well and hinnom does um, right, he gets I, to... I don't think he's. Yeah, I, I think Kalem is all right. I just I, we're not seeing a lot of magic diversity that yep. he's like using too much of. I don't think. Um, yeah. I think that's the real thing because they can, you know, they get that, and he has he has obtained quite a quite a good amount of that with the Tatarians as well. But I don't think we're losing uh, seeing it utilized. Yeah, I mean, losing well of misery, losing gift of health, uh, definitely cost him his tart factory that i think he was planning on on being a big part of his late game uh yeah exactly exactly and he didn't fight for it either but he hasn't seemed to get a new plan now i've enjoyed the um you know all the all the whites um mm -hmm. but i think i think they've been countered actually really well um considering yep. how dangerous mass spam of those is yes um, yeah well i think also i mean you know, uh, Caleb brought 100 mages and lost, you know, 100 mages. But he, like, Hinnom, I think, I would have to go back and check. I don't think he brought more than 20 mages, right? You know, he brought a couple bales, no. a couple of melkarts, a couple no. of I think, I think, I think uh, number of mages really matters uh, sort of late mid-game. And then it's it's big spells in, right. the, in the very late game that we are in now. Right. Hinnom is putting up all the big spells. Um, yeah. and we just really haven't seen as much of that yeah. from Caleb. And then you just need like a little thing, like well, not necessarily a little bit. You need like one or two little tricks, um, that need to like really spin it in the light game. Sure. But we're not seeing all. We're not seeing all like the base spells. You need like army of, and fog warriors and right. And, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then to here are just you know terrifying. So here <laughs> well. are are quite strong. Uh, not sure I'll have the rest of this game, but I guess we're in a good position. I would say so. I would strain to say out loud after all that's happened. I'm not sure who's in position one. On some of the charts, that might be us. But Plagia is in Pearl Farming, Nexus, Wish Combo, with Gift of Nature's Bounty and Gift of Health. I don't even think it's close. I think Hidom is clear position one. I, so, I, I feel like Pelagia has a lot of options that could make I'm this game seeing... drag forever. I'm seeing one Pelagian army that is untested in battle. And yep. I'm seeing multiple Hinnom armies that have won multiple Oh, battles. for sure. Um, but, like, it doesn't matter how many battles you've won, you can get Armageddon spammed. Um, I mean, yes, but, I mean, those to here are not going away. Like, that, no. that, you know, he can you know, he could still have a blood economy even under Armageddon. Like, he's not cast it once, so I'm not seeing, like, spam coming anytime right. soon. Like, it I, I, I think likely. it's one way ahead. I'd also like to say that the real reason 
that Caleb has lost those battles is because he didn't win the game earlier. Yes! Oh, for sure. He, had the chance. This, he fought so many battles that he didn't need to fight if he had just gone and won the game. Mm -hmm. As uh, was stated. But that's okay. Um, and I think doesn't doesn't Hanam have a chunk of this nexus? I thought he I has thought there was... some some unknown. Right, amount. he has an yes. unknown stake. Um, but yes, Pelagia certainly has been doing the whole wish thing. Um, we just haven't seen what he's going to do with it yet. Exactly. Um, they can also Fort Temple other provinces. Yeah, there's a chance for position one. So I think we might be the biggest, but I think Pelagia is first in gold. Don't know who's first in gems. Um. Depends how many wish casters he has. Yeah, with Paul Farney, it's plus 25 per turn. My gem graph is also a little inflated since I send half of Mother Oak to Calum. Okay, it is a little inflated, but that's five. Yeah, that's five <laughs> gems. That he doesn't, <laughs> no, it doesn't seem like he's lacking too much. Um, hopefully everyone else joins in the Calum spoils. I've invited everyone at least. Let's We can take a look at the graphs real quick. Um, so Hinnom is the most provinces by quite a lot at this point. Um, oops, didn't mean to turn them off and to go to forts. And I'm certainly has way more forts than Pelagia. He has more income than Pelagia, although it's, it is fair to say that it's very close. Yeah, but I think he can spend that a lot better. Yeah, like he's, he's got, got all those extra more forts. forts. And I think, you know, I think the things he can spend gold on way better for him on than yeah. they are for Pelagia. I mean he can he you know those those the look at the base recruitable troop, right? Or like he could just add Dawn Guard, right, with their magic weapon, which is super relevant to late game. They're high hit points to avoid remotes. Whereas, you know, Pelagia is gonna be spending additional gold, obviously on mages, but their troops are Yeah. Well you're also for all the mages he makes, I mean you're still paying a lot of those you're still paying the tax of having to get the item to, to bring them up. Mm-hmm. That too. And the uh, the Hinnom mages are, like, if you're not worried about money, and he's got loads of money, uh, they, you know, they are, how they effective are they are, they're pretty great. Yes. Still, it, it is funny. So Hinnom does have the most dominion, but Pelagia in his tiny chunk of land, right, is is very close. Yeah, it's actually, you know, they're all actually surprisingly quite close to each other, really. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, look, everything that here, he's got temples in every province, as expected. Um, to make the income go wild, his in his cap is is almost eleven hundred gold a turn. That's that's pretty well considered. Theridos is almost four hundred. Peak Theridos. Yeah, this is. <laughs> um, but we haven't uh, we haven't seen him do anything yet, and it it doesn't look like we're seeing a whole heck of a lot of him doing anything this turn either. But he needs to, and he's, he's got to go. Uh, here is our Hinnom attack. He does not get anywhere. I think this is the stolen Wraith Lord. Um, the Golem. Taking him out. I mean, the one, one PD. Another Golem. Yomi doing his best. Runs into something. It's actually there. This is our <coughs> one of our. This is the northern army, I think, with the the Queen of Storms. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the border side continues. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, he's got a lot of boards to lose. Yeah, he, he might even probably make that back every turn. He might. Uh, oh, the oh. storm. Oh, The storm. The god is in there. The god is in there. So we, we have a pretty... Oh, look at all the stolen water bottles. Oh, man. I mean, if I recall, right, we, we lost basically nothing from Hinnom's side. So it's the same force as before. Um, it looks like it might be slightly rearranged, but... Same, the same yeah, I don't know. Is it, force. Yeah, it might even be. Is this guy? Can this guy? Well, die? it can't be more kind. Of... Yeah, he can. It's just a. Yeah, yeah, he can. Yeah, but he's like... he's actually like fairly survivable. I love how he's got one attack skill though. Like, <laughs> well, he says he won't fight for him. He's protected from harm by the unholy powers.
Is that the resistances then? I guess. He's got a fire shield. Yeah. He's I like demon. it. I, I... Okay, so there's not. Where's a... the demon merchant faction? That's what I really. Like. Yes, there's not a ton of people. Yeah, this home. is not much in here. Yeah. No gems on the idol. Uh, What's the well, Dione guy? Is he, he going to put up a good fight? I want. I wanted to. He's got uh... a storm school. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this is not going to be a very good fight. For the hero. I think that he is going to get absolutely murked by some Is flying. it sub 10 rounds? That's the question. Uh, yes. Where's the, what's the round button? Control C? Yeah. Controls, yeah. Oh, he didn't do mass flight. Oh, there it is. There, there's the mass flight. That's critical for it being sub 10 rounds. Well, there goes that blob. We're in bat round two. Yeah, it's going to be sub 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the, the Dione. Yeah. And we're in on uh, on the god. I think is the only one left. Darkness went down. Did he kill his own was units it, with this fire? Was it yummy darkness? Oh, it could have been. Bat round six. This god's not dying. He's still at 200 HP. Oh, have they not got weapons of sharpness on those? Uh... uh, I don't think he did. He didn't last time. I saw him cast it, but I... Uh, maybe he didn't hit the right... I don't think he hit this. I, I don't think he cast it before the Sahir run, you know, yeah. flew in. All right, bat round eight. This god is not dying. I mean, he is dying, but... He's going to die, but like... He's got Phoenix Pyre. He's got... Does that... Oh, now he's getting something causing him to start taking a lot more damage. Now he's going to get mean, jumped on immediately. Pretty good on him. I don't really know how it how it works on this like inanimate statue, but I'm, I'm here for it. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. They did eventually get him. Well, the, the Phoenix Pi was cool. I actually quite like that. Was. Okay, he didn't. He must have cast. Well. I thought he cast darkness, but I guess there's nobody here. Hold on, who cast darkness? I think there was a, a Yomi. Um, Why would Yomi cast there a, darkness? There was a guy, that guy there, that general. He had, I don't know if it was him. Wayland it could have Wins. also been the hero at the back. The Mound Fiend. Whose team is the Mound Fiend on? I didn't even see a Mound Fiend. Here. Uh, there him. he is, yeah. You know, okay, well, how did he die then? I think he just retreated. Oh, well, what a coward. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, there Bound. he is. He was left. I well, mean, I think I think maybe, like, he could have made this a lot more fun. If, if the Dione had had, like, a full kit, because that guy was in, he had the air pack. Ah, maybe, I mean. You could maybe do Wailing Winds. He did do Wailing Winds. Yeah, yeah, but if he had like a kit, because I think he can, you know, that Dione can survive against this here, I think, like for, for a while. <laughs> for a like, little not, bit, maybe. Yeah, and also like being at the back and just getting surrounded didn't help. No, uh, but I mean, this is what, you know, this is. I, I mean, mean, I don't think he really, you know, yeah. he doesn't, he's not really trying on this. Yeah. Either, but... No, no, say you're down. <laughs> And we're running to beat Smith. Okay. Yeah. Hanam is continuing to move. Um, Where's the Kalem? Hanam is in Kalem's cap circle. With a Wraith Lord. <laughs> With a Wraith Lord. That may originally have been Kalem's. Yes. Although I don't. There's nobody in Kalem. Yeah, I, I think... don't see many Kalem. Where's the Kalem armies? Where? Maybe it's. It could. He has a nice habit of getting his armies trapped in forts. Yes. Well. Could be it. Could be it. Um. Yep. Yep. Well. He's moving forwards. No movement from the fish. And the uh, Vanheim 
or burning war. He's now just he's just gonna tower his it's way. Literal trench warfare. <laughs> yeah, this is peak late game to me. <laughs> also, the drugs are still there. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean to be fair, Marvoni should actually be all right against this wind of death because they can just soul slay communion. And yes, you'll get hit one other time, but then you should just be able to soul slay the. I, one would assume. And yeah, but, I mean, I mean, faults also work. Yeah. Um, and it's not like soul slay is a spell you don't really want to cast. Like against Van here, it's not even. It's not even that bad. Like they're yeah, still, no, I mean, it's a perfectly still, good yeah. good spell. Okay, all right, let's go to let's go to eighty five. They're gonna have another fight though, and I. Oh yeah, I think it was quite it's it was quite favored in Vanheim earlier, but um, I don't know. Maybe it could change. It could change. It is definitely going to happen. All right, let's see the let's see the bad news for Caleb. Okay, well that's just good news for Caleb. For the opportunity, the opportunity win. Oh <laughs> yes, he did the golem not killing more harabsrafts. I don't know how many harabsrafts. Oh my. Marverni tried to take the trogs, but was oh defeated. Oh my god, the trogs, the trogs are just... The trogs like, this is our them. home. <laughs> they beat that many. That's crazy. And they're, they're too big, right? They can't Where get is the trog faction? Yeah, they can't get trampled. Uh, you played the trog faction. No, no, no. I want a full a full mage list. Mm, I, say, I recall you getting run over by your own trogs. Well, that's... More running over than these balls are doing. Well, they're not big enough. And then they just routed. I think the boars should be bigger. Well, these are enlarged boars. Exactly. And they're not... I think if the boars were size 4 and you could enlarge them to 5, I think that would be much more fun. Uh, like, I don't that's... think they... I I'm, I don't think they should be elephant size. So, yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> running over trogs, I'd, I'd be there for that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was this one. No. That was this one. We also have Marverni attacks into Van Heim and is defeated. Ah, it's just a scouting force. It is just I do a... like that he attacked the Trogs on the Kaelin Fork because they've been there for that long, though. Yeah, I mean, at some point you just got to be like, what on earth is got going on? Troll King, got a, got a Dwarf. Coral Blade, Boots, Ring of Returning, oh. Crystal Shield, and Boots. Here's our. Winds of Death. Yeah, there goes Winds of Death. And Earthquake. Oh, okay. Well, mixed it up. I like that. I like that, though. Yeah. Pretty, Pretty good against one. human mages in, in robes. I mean, they're not going to love. Yeah. It is one of those where if you'd put... Um, if you could have put more stuff here, right? I think you could have spared yourself the gem burn. Yeah, I don't think he was expecting the gem burn, though. Like, I don't even think he... Yeah. Horite and five long yeah. dead does not work. Some sorceresses. What was this then? This looks like there was a little plan here. I don't think there's a plan here. Well, looks can be deceiving. I mean, I guess they could maybe. Are they just retreating out of their body? No, they're they're cheat fate. I, I guess they're a raiding party. Is it a gem bait? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, is that what it's trying to be? Without any gems or equipment? I doubt it. Those are some nice uh, Pillar of Fire casts there. Uh, okay. Well, that didn't work. However, this uh, army... Mean, what, one of them survived and he had no right to that's, Sahir died that's there. I say, <laughs> this army killed more Sahir than uh, Yomi yeah. did. Yeah, the efficiency actually in those sorceresses is... Quite uh, high. Yeah. Although, I have a hunch that it was, uh, in fact, self-inflicted. Well, I don't I don't think you can call it a hunch if it's, <laughs> if it's pretty well. <laughs> it was a hunch until I looked at it. Tarte's own Tartarian. Is that his own? That must be his own ghost as well. It, uh, yeah, probably. Yep. And now he's a ring of returning. Why? Oh, okay. You think this guy is worth a ring of returning? 
Uh, An Earth four. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Twenty five percent like insanity. Do you not? Is that? I think. I think he's worth all of that. I mean, I guess I don't know exactly how many how many pearls Hinnom has, right? But I think he's. I mean, we've seen a lot, lot of rings of returning, so we I, have. I think we've got, we've got plenty. Certainly of them. have. And you know, it's a Tartarian. You took it. You don't want to. I, I think it's fun. This has been renamed. Hold on. No. I thought that we might get a cheeky name out of that one. Here is that guy. Upgrade. That guy's too old. He he wasn't alive during the the Elf Wars. <laughs> okay. I mean, we continue with the siege. We I mean, do cracks. I really want. Cracked. I've been saying this a lot. But I really want Pelagia to go in. The fort is right next to his army. It's, it's I don't right know how, there. I would. I would not have the patience for this. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I, what is a? Oh, that's the. Oh, that's the name. Okay. That is a. That is a. That is a long name for that Harab Saraf. <laughs> like that's a. Like that's, he, like. Like that's true. So it's, it just be like number four, and then you just get rolled off the list. Here's the is other that what one. you run about? Yeah, conjuration mm. bonus. Oh, and now you can get the mountain fiends for cheap, you see. So. Yes, there, and you can see here the mountain fiends. Nice. So, You've got I mean, wraith lords, vampire lords, mountain fiends. You would not want to, if you die in that province, you are coming back. You are coming back. I mean, Caleb is starting to look a lot like him. Um... Do you think yeah, he's? Caleb gonna... has got terminal him on him on this. Yeah. Yep. It's not knocks him out with Capsicle. I don't. I think he's. Uh... I believe. Yeah. I think. It looks real bad. It looks real bad. We've got that Tartarian monster, though. Maybe she could do something. She's going to get killed by a golem or something. Um. Okay. Well, it's good to know you're optimistic. <laughs> Always am. Um. Okay. Anything else for this turn? Uh. Nope. No. I, I, where, where's the uh, Where's the Yomi army? Is that just chilling in the fort? In the. I think the I think this is their home now. now. He's... That's fair. Just stay there till the end of time. Now we are going to. <coughs> Excuse me. Eighty six. All right, messengers from Hinnom. Going to do a life after death conversion because it looks like there's a chance this game going to cataclysm. Uh, what yeah. turn is cataclysm? A hundred. Okay. I didn't think we were going to get this far. <laughs> uh, we'll help a bit on upkeep. We aren't going to be looking to do it to too many mages because we need our mages to be able to fight and soulless dudes are pretty weak. That's true. But they are free. <laughs> I'd also like to comment on some of the laughing at our research. Oh no. <laughs> there were good reasons for it. Very early game. We wanted a site search. Yes, site searching is critical. For he did a lot dead. of site searching. I, would, I mean, yeah, Hinnom, and Hinnom site searches really slowly. Right, because outside of the Horite, you're going to be doing it basically a path at a time. Yep, yep. I mean... Now, you don't get to summon any elementals until slightly you slightly want to say there. that it did hurt his research a little bit too much against Garth, though. This was a long time ago, so... It's, uh, yeah, it's been a long time since we looked at that. Um, fighting two and a half nations, two of which were elves. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we did say yeah. while we were yeah, doing we, that it that was we very understood. Yeah. It's yeah. still funny, though. But it was bad. <laughs> 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 yeah. It was bad for a very good and understandable reason. But, yes. You know. Uh, and then middle game, we started trying to fix our research and get construction uh, research for lanterns. We're also fighting to spread out Dominion. Uh, we've been blood sacrificing all game and not able to keep even a couple candles in our lands. Um, Vanheim was also sacrificing, and he had that throne right on the border as well. Um, anyhow, here we were trying to catch up, but also still in low-grade wars requiring mages. Spending a good number of resources on priests and temples and blood sacking. Late mid game, well, we aren't winning any prizes in research, but we now have a lot of the stuff we need. 
Yes. Yeah, all I mean, it's all reasonable. reasonable. I, like, you, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Yeah, you don't, you wouldn't want to get, uh, you wouldn't want to get Dom killed. I mean, I, no, that would be that pretty would be amazing. Um, and we have seen, I mean, he's, we've definitely, like, we've seen those priests out there doing stuff, right? Like, <clears throat> we know that, uh, that, uh, the Hinnom player puts a, a big priority on his dominion. Yeah, I also think, you know, we were agreeing with what the Hinnom player is saying here. Yeah, um, I think mostly. Yeah. Now, it's been a long time since I recorded it, so I don't I don't need someone to just start putting a bunch of clips in. Um of really bad takes. I'm sure there's been plenty of those. Yeah, they will um, come from you though, I'm sure. So, oh but... yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm the only one with bad takes. Um Yeah, yeah blood sacrificing it's uh expensive because it does usually involve putting a Melkart in a province. Who's going to generate a yeah, lot of Yeah, blood sacking is hit on would make me sad because it's a hero. I mean, it is the Melkart card is so good at it though. Um, you can blood sack, I think, five a turn with a Melkart. card. I'm just hearing five. more blood say blood uh, slaves that you're losing from other things. There. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I value Dom Dominion push as much as other people do, or at least as much as you and, no, and this one. Do. Yeah, one plus three. I'm sorry, it's four per. Um, I mean, I have definitely goofed around and found out with not having enough Dominion before. Um, I think it, it, it's more important in the late game. You know, once you get well, definitely once globals. you get to the late game, it's it's becomes very critical. Um, but um, it even I, you know, in my first in my first Hinom game, I didn't. I took great scales. And then I didn't spread my dominion at all. <laughs> and so I well, yeah, I'm, I'm, but I'm, you know, I, I build, I build temples like a normal person. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. I haven't played too many blood sack nations to be fair, apart from Micklin, but obviously you have to do it there. So. They do feel, I mean, you do get a lot of extra temple checks. Um, it helps, but you also, you gotta, you know, potentially try and and shepherd your candles such that they're doing things uh, as effectively as possible, which can also be kind of a pain because it's obviously very random. Anywho, moving forwards, oof. Oh, that was a, I'll watch that, yeah. Yeah, these little float cats. So who casts that then? Uh, Yomi? Caleb, or did, yeah. We'll I mean, see where Caleb? it is. Yeah, well, you can see where it is. How did they... I think horrors are one of my favorite... Like... These guys kill themselves. Oh, they're trying They're trying to die. He uh... cast on himself, but it didn't work. Oh, he cast himself. Yeah, here's the Solus Doi. I mean, it did work, right. but not as well as it could have. He only got eight of the mages, and he got them all back. Uh... Yeah, okay, all right. He I did not know if you cast on yourself, it did that. It makes sense, I just didn't know. Yeah, we should have checked the province. Um, Yeah, they're, they're not... Uh... They've got no chill. They'll fight. Why over. did he have? Why did he have all the long dead in front then? Well, you need them. You need the mages to get themselves killed in their first form, right? Which is what you can see he's trying to do. But you can't let the cats actually get to them. Uh, well, I, I feel like there must be a better way. Like surely, like casting. There must be. There must be a better way to do it. Um, it's surprisingly difficult. Uh, I have. You're not just going to really long fight. And, and then they killed themselves with the well, soul vortex. Because... Is, that, is that how this is supposed to work? Yeah, they're supposed to kill themselves with the soul vortex. So uh, maybe you just need to cast more horror. But a lot of the horrors can teleport. That seems a bit risky. Yeah, it's it's tricky. It's not an exact science. Um, no, no. So, and but anyway, and that it's is only half an art form as well. So it's, it's yeah, cool. he got he got eight of them there. Um, so not the greatest conversion, but not terrible. I mean, that many blood slaves for that much Oh, gold, I think maybe. it would appear still worth it. when you were questioning my optimism, I was optimistic. Versus, I think, what is going to end up happening here. You're not going to tell me that it gets stolen, are you? Because I, I, think, I think that's basically cheating if you've seen this already. I think we're going to turn on team colored squares. Here he comes. Run. Run. Now, it looks kind of close to breaking out, but then it's turned. 
Yeah, there's still there's always only, more wolves. Only yeah, 18, 18 more. Yeah. Not gonna do it. And all that gear and all that all those hopes and dreams. Yeah, that's tough. Why why cast Tartarian Gate when you can just steal the Tartarians? Yeah, you but you just need to get to construction A and make one item and you get two Tartarians for it, I mean. Yeah. Alright, here we've got Caleb rolling out with some more Harab Seraphs. This is a scary looking force. We got the Sayer line and then the blob. But I don't think that there's really enough over here. Maybe they gem bait though? Yeah, definitely. Gems went out. Here come the Sayer. Foul Vapors, cast by Elf plus Elf equals too many Elves. They're in the back line. <laughs> Look at the squares. We're on regular speed. Say you're just melt stuff. Isn't here. There goes that whole force. He got one long dead. Now he is getting gems every time he does this, right? The real damage is potentially economic, but I don't think the economic. Worries. I don't think it's enough. Oh, his madman was defeated. What a what a madman. Taking out an Onishugo. Oh, oh, Onishugo joins stolen. him. It's just a he's, he's a big tent nation. He know. is. Everyone can join. Uh, here, another Tartarian Titan is now running around. Wonder what's going to happen to that. Oh, that sounded like more foreshadowing from you there. Mm. Well, Tartan, I haven't taught action. Yeah. What has this one got? Full kit. And she Frost is... Frostbrand though. Not yeah, Frostbrand not going to do a lot. And also <laughs> you're underwater, so... Like, Are these guys all poor amphibians? Need to fight a load of people. Yeah. This dude is slow. Well, he's got... <laughs> he's got a lot of afflictions. Mm-hmm. I mean, neither oh. of them look like Usain Bolt, to be fair. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sent home. Airmore. Kopos. Oh, no. I have a Kopos province in a Dom 6 game, and it's been a real problem. That sounded, more like some, that sounded like some trauma that came up. <laughs> There's been some problems with Kopos. Wraith Lord is joining the other team. Okay, well we'll see get back now. I mean he's just he's just a mercenary at this point. <laughs> no no, he joined this yeah, he he did. Yeah, he he's gone there, yeah. he's gone back. It's funny. And then Liches. What on earth? Nine Liches? What? Marverney's like That's, I am. There was tired. one before it. You can't wind of death me, I'm already dead. Exactly, and he's got um, these uh, eternal swarms are also... Oh, the, the worm mage. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a this is a high quality. This is a, a weirdly... It's, I mean, it's... It's a strange... I like it. I don't, I mean, I don't... I think I think it's going to be really... But it's immortal, but it... it yeah, there isn't too much soul slay coming out of Vanheim. Yeah. You're not going to see Shana Fort with this, though. That's the only problem. No, certainly are not. And all the long dead horsemen are kind of running ahead of the other stuff. But, <laughs> but the, the the sheer quantity of immortals uh, out of nowhere is pretty good. Also, I so there was there was this battle, which I guess was magic phase, but that can't be right. Is it? This going to be in a fort? Like, is he stormed? Maybe. Maybe he's... No, but it doesn't say that. It says... Oh, it isn't a fort. Yeah, he has, yeah. Never mind. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Hold Here's on. the things. Here's the army. Oh, there's my a, God. Little, These are Harab Seraphs. This That's... whole middle section. Yeah. Uh, I, the... Is that even as many as they are? Oh, it's just a... 
It's just a bad one, yeah. A hill giant. I mean, there's a lot of chaff. I was really hoping for Caleb's sake this was going to be demonic cleansing. Yeah, I needed that. All these Davids. Some grubs. Okay, grubs. He's, I mean, all the gems have been dumped. All hands on deck. Wraiths. Meanwhile, I think this is the same force we've seen. Uh, this it's is a the lot northern... smaller than the Kalem army. Yeah. But it's a lot killier. It certainly is. This is the northern force, so it does not have all of our Nephilim. Um, got a Bale who's going to do some kind of big fire magic. I mean, that's Firestorm. Yeah, probably. That's a, that's a lot of pearls and a lot of fire <laughs> gems on those guys. Yeah. Um, little Thug Horite. A Thug Horite. I mean, I like it, but it just feels wrong when you're playing him on. Uh, he's got a lot of lightning rods on people, presumably it's for winds of death problems. Here's an Akka who's going to do Howl, maybe? Yep, uh, Serpent's like Blessing. Howling. Uh, no, it looks oh, like really? Is he, well, he might maybe well, he's cast... also doing Serpent's Blessing. Yeah. Here's that curse. <laughs> what was that stone. guy's name? Which one? Elf plus elf equals two many elves. <laughs> oh, yes. Just in, the, just in the where the spells are on the top left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one that will bolt of fire. Winds. Now, no Storm Staff or anything here. So they're going to land in the back. Uh, There's Will the, the Fates. One, I think went off just too early. Darkness, there is a lot of uh, magic weapons there, though, with the um, sacreds, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, and if, if, because all the uh, Sahir, I think, are in Takria, and that's uh, going to take them a while to get to. It's going to take a long is... time. I don't know if he's going to win this. There's so yeah, I think, much I think stuff. Caleb might have this. And to be honest, I think Caleb is. You know, they're, they're due a victory, right? Uh, I don't know if you ever, are you ever due a victory? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you know when you, he's got so many resources, I think you kind of, yeah. Also, I feel a bit sorry for this cannon player, like, <laughs> yeah. it's been a bit I'm rough. Worried. I'm worried about this Wailing Winds. He's got to kill stuff quickly enough, right? Like, this whole... I think he is killing, I think he is killing stuff around those mages. Yeah. Somewhat. Growing Fury. All right, so somebody's not. I assume retreating. that was Caleb. That's got to be Caleb. Which is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Wailing Winds for both sides in the darkness. Let's speed it up. Yeah, the darkness is kind of really slowing it down. I mean, these guys are not making a lot of progress. I, there's I think... no way they're chopping. Even Sahir can't chop through all of that. I don't. <laughs> they, they're not, they're not getting enough surface area. Um, I don't think all those mages are going to. Almost everything. I mean, could be army. Right. It can't be army here. losses at some point. Yeah, there goes a bail. I think Hinam is going to route here. I'm not sure what all he's lost. He doesn't. The amount of Kalem mages that are running away while we speak though is going to be horrific. Maybe not though. They have growing fury. It depends on. If they're they're not going to take any damage. Okay, they're just going to be... Uh, but Wailing Winds, you don't have to take damage, right? Exactly, so they'll be running away. So the, the Growing Fury isn't going to matter. Oh, uh, uh, doesn't Growing Fury... You don't have to actually take damage, though. I thought it just made people go Berserk. Oh, I thought it just gave you Berserk. And then... So so if you then get damage, then you go Berserk. I thought that's what it was. Because oh. so, your mages will be casting, whereas they wouldn't if they just went Berserk. Your mages... I know your ma some of your mages, if you cast Growing Fury, will just start running in like morons. Oh, I thought it was just that they got like hit by an hour or something. I think they're chopping through them. I don't think. I think most of the mages have run away here, and I think the Zahir are not running away. They are berserk. Man, I did not think he was going to win this actually. Yeah, I I think he's just. I thought those uh, sacred summons kills were going to cut this through the uh, this one. He's decaying. Seventy-six kills. This one has only 14. Well, he's going to have killed more than four here. <laughs> and so, progress is progress. Yeah. Also, that air, that air queen, I did notice, did a lot of work uh, in the middle. Yeah. That mage fight. And that bail. The flame just, eruption oh. is also dealing big yeah, damage. Flame, Although he's... flame eruption is, uh, I think, a spell that actually 
Oof, that was scales a quite well in the game because you get up close a lot more, mm -hmm. and it and it gets through like missile and stuff. Like I think it's pretty decent. They're still chopping. Goodness gracious. Hinom has routed, so it's just the Berserk guys. Yeah. But I, I haven't been watching it today, I think, Kalem. I mean... I don't think Kalem has yet, actually. I don't anything that routes for Kalem is dead. Oh, it's... I think Kalem has, but it's the Wraith... Wraith Lords have Yeah. Because they're immortal. They ain't afraid of no ghost. They should be afraid of Seir. Seir look like they're getting close. Oh, they're in. They've broken through on turn 122. It's almost near the battle timing out. <laughs> in which case, I think Kalem holds the fort, but I don't think it. Nope, really didn't matters. get there. Oof. Well, All that right. was a much better effort. It was a much Sahir better to, effort. Sahir killed 999, which, as we all know, is 666 upside down. It is. Can you get Winter more than this kills? I think not. Or is this just that they maxed it out? I find it odd that they hit exactly. No, you, you can. No, you can get a thousand. You can then. get a thousand. Okay. Well, you might. Uh, Are you sure? Well, I'm doubting it a lot more now. You've questioned me on it. I'm just uh, wondering. Just it seems like an awfully odd number. Uh, anyway, I think though, I feel like I've seen mages kill a thousands. Okay. Whichever but, army cast something. Anyway, I thought way more Sahir survived. Like, there were way more than four left at the end of that. They were decaying. Some of them were. Were they demons? Did they, can they die from that? Uh, They get hit enough. With decay? I don't... Surely not. <laughs> um, okay, That'd be embarrassing. Well, if you're Sahir and you die from old age, that's embarrassing. That is, it is such embarrassing. Uh, but anyway, he did lose all his seer, so this army has functionally... He lost one mage in that entire fight. Yeah, one mage. That's incredible. He did have a lot of stuff retreat, and he probably lost some stuff in the retreat. Meanwhile, obviously, 100% yeah. well, casualties. 78 Herob Seraphs obviously died. Because... Yeah, uh -huh. and those... Well, that's crazy. So those um, Yazd Sacreds for Ken mm -hmm. didn't kill a single thing. Nope. That's crazy. He needed Weapon of Sharpness. I, I actually don't know how they didn't kill anything, because they, they were the only things that really had magic weapons. Yeah, I I mean, he... Like, even even a Blood Slave, does that not count? Like, that's... I, I don't know. I'm I'm skeptical of this. I don't know, is it recorded? I, I don't... I... I will... Yeah, I, I... I don't know what to tell you. It, uh... Yeah. Wailing it Winds. It is what it is. MVP. Oof. So the Tartarian monster killed four, and it doesn't have. Oh, uh... well, I got a temple. Anyway, devastating, but more devastating with Kalem. Yes. How do we gain a temple? It's funny. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a big oof. Where was that? That was an undermount. No, I think it was for the diamonds. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, we could just use the... I think it was that uh, two two promises up from where you were clicking there. Um... Nope. This is it. Yeah, well, how's... So, Caelan kept it. So, if we got a battle replay bug there... Well... Maybe... Hinnom attacked Caleb. It didn't even doesn't even say who won. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Nobody so... wins. I well, guess somebody definitely lost. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I guess Hinnom Hinnom didn't take it somehow. The only person still there is a demon merchant. I Just... think that's a very appropriate person to be there <laughs> after a battle, like a huge battle. That's true. Um I don't know exactly how that works, but... Some strange things have gone on. Here's a, yeah. Luckily, he's got a retreat route into Caleb's cap circle. Yeah. Yeah, that's been there for a few turns, yeah. I think... I want to say this is the turn that we get the sub for Caleb. Is that he... That seems fair, right? I think they need a little... They need a... They need a detox for their... 
their mental health yeah. after. Because I think he, yeah. I think that he just liked, like, this is the turn he was given and he logged in and is like, I have taken over just in time to watch all of my toys die. Uh... <laughs> Which we do appreciate you, by the way. Um, I think it was this turn. Um, yeah, I mean, um, that... could you, uh, could you pause for a sec? Someone's just knocked on my door. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, pausing. Okay. Sorry about that, everyone. We are back. Just wanna, I just wanna click on sad Kalem graphs. Oh, that's a sad Kalem graph. Uh, how the mighty have uh, fallen. Yeah, there's no mage numbers, but. Where does that saying come from? I feel like that's. How the mighty have fallen? Know. Yeah, I feel like it must be a Roman thing or something. Uh, maybe Shakespeare, maybe. another two. Maybe. I'm not sure what the origin is. Here's I just the... felt like that was something you didn't know. Uh... That guy, it's that. That's the that, stolen one. Uh... Oh, is this right? Okay. Because there's the the good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For Caleb is that because he won the fight, he cannot teleport on someone else because he has to move a turn into a lab. Yeah, I mean every cloud does have a silver lining. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pelagia. You gotta go. There is, actually, I'm seeing movement. There is another stack. That's gonna go... Hit that Sistel. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really good. We gotta, you gotta move. I have yeah, several Fairy Queens, a JR, <laughs> a, a White Mage. If you were waiting for the opportune moment, I feel like it may have already passed. But that means you should act with even more haste. Yes. Even more haste. Okay. I don't know what all the stuff in his cap's doing. Like, I don't... Like, you're not... He's got a lot of his own sacreds as well. They're just sort of... I assume they're sacreds. Uh, he's got to the uh, west of his cap. These are the hippocampuses. Are they just, oh, they're just... They're the free why spawn. would you get hippocampus that can't go on land? They're free spawn. Oh, are they? Oh, really? Oh. The uh, Pro Kings free spawn them. Pretty slowly, but I do. did not know that. I have not. I saw. I looked at the troops and I I see all the forts coming up. I'm surprised he didn't. Yeah, I suppose he's only just getting them now. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Anyways, um, Hanam appears to be running away with the game, although he did suffer. The closest thing we've seen to a setback for the last 20 turns. Yeah, I lost one mage. Lost a mage. Yeah. He lost 60 C. Actually, you know, I don't remember exactly which turns, how many turns ago it was that he lost his um, Nephilim on an ill-fated throne attempt. That may be the best uh, loss. Maybe about eight, something like that. Was it really only eight? Um. Anyways. It was, eight. It was a long time for us, though. That's what it is. It's a long time for us. Anyway, yeah. How um, <laughs> how many thrones has he got? All right, let's take a look. Uh, that's not very really helpful. Three, three, yeah. Thrones of ascension. Swear. Already, I'm already. Losing track of what's going on in, in Dom 5 versus Dom 6. I mean, we could just look at them. Like, I think he's got he's got that one there, and he's got the uh, all right, he's got the one. one with all the with all the sites yep. to the west of that. He's got one in this column. Two. Yeah, that's the one. Three. His third one there. I think that's it. And I don't think he has any here. Yeah. So, so like, I mean, he's still got a point to do. Yeah, there's a lot of work to be done yet to win this game. And Cataclysm is coming in the next 14 turns. Or in 14 turns. Look at this. This Tartarian is safe because she's underwater. I don't think that son of Samyaza has her a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Samyaza doesn't have a water-breathing item. <laughs> I think he, I think Caleb really needed to bring that Queen of the, I, need, I think he needed to summon more Queen of the Sea if he could. And mm -hmm. I think he needed, really needed to bring that one that he had out to do Demon Painting. That was... Yeah, I mean, he 
He's got that was to the have some kind I mean, of he's also got magic. all those, what are they called? Undine? Un- I don't know how you pronounce it. Undines. Um, yeah. He's got like 15 of them. Yeah. Are they not water mages? So, I mean, he could do it. I mean, if all of those could cast demon cleansing, you know, if you got a load of crystal matrices, you could start. Matrices, I mean, you could of... start empowering wraith lords and giving them crystal gear, and bring a communion along. Like, I, you got to do something. Yeah, you need demon, cleansing. demon cleansing is like one of the biggest spells, really. Yeah, it's it's not. And then optional. undead mastery, he could have done. He could be doing that as well. That'd be pretty yep, big. That would be nice. Uh, yeah. But really, I mean, I'd sure, I I think he could probably figure a lot of this stuff out. I just think he kind of... Well, know, I think, like I said... He, he built all the way up to this great position, and then didn't he, close it out, and then it started reversing, and it's, you know, it's the, it's it's the direction. Yeah. yeah, it's tough to come back from that. We will see, I think, we, like I said, we do have the new player, I think, coming in, so we'll see if he can uh, find some of these answers. Obviously, with a much diminished yeah, be budget. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe those uh, lizard charms, maybe they can do something. There are, yeah, I mean, we've, there's 50 lizard shamans here, and we haven't seen them really do anything yet, I don't think. And there's enchantresses, I mean, they can have all sorts of crazy stuff, so... They can have water. Yeah. I mean, I, at the very least, I hope it deals with the trogs. The trogs are diminished now. Wait, where are the trogs? There they are. Yeah, there they are. They're, no, they're, they're... Marverni has has bypass has given up on the trogs. He's actually gone full in and is just attacking Kalen. And I, I, I think I think it's the correct decision. Yeah, I, I think so too. Kalen is dying, and Hinam said he invited everyone in. So, <laughs> all right, Pelagia, yeah. Pelagia, go on. Yeah, Pel- yeah, it's okay. With Pelagia, you know, they can maybe still have time. Maybe. I mean, I think they can get a lot of stuff here to be fair and they'll get a throne so mm-hmm. they'll have two and that's preventing him having them so yep yep gotta get this one although yeah. if he got that one it'd be that'd be close fighting fighting this army for this throne seems he's not gonna get it but if he did difficult. get it, it would be good okay anyways we're past 50 minutes um thank you for joining me yeah thanks for having me Go ahead and wrap this yep. one up uh thanks everybody for watching we will hope to see you all in the next one and we're uh Hopefully, hopefully they'll uh, they'll finish the game before Cataclysm. We'll see. We'll see, and hopefully, if it does go to Cataclysm, people won't just clam up. I don't think they will. I think it'll be close to finishing at that point, anyway. Yeah, I think so too. So, anyways, uh, we will go ahead and sign off, and uh, have a great day, everyone. Peace.